Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, meet two Fort Mead community artists, father and son. Also this week, Gaffney embraces functional fitness. We'll check in with youth sports. And a reminder, the Black History Month observance is coming up. These stories and more, but first, Willie Kendrick, Army retiree, and his son, Willie Kendrick III, a graphic artist of the defense media activity, are both artists. Dad even teaches guitar as well as art at the nearby Laurel Beltsville Senior Activity Center. Currently, their work is on display at the center. Both are artists, but they took a different path getting there. The great relationship that we have, we're more like buddies. You know, if, if he's grown up now, we could talk about adult things that we couldn't do when he was a much younger a child, but now we're, we're like good friends, and um, I know he's a son, but the respect is still there regardless. I'm retired, I have lots of time. He's working and with the young family, so I figure we get a chance to do this before I get to the age where I forget how to do this stuff. <laughs> um, he was actually a uh, visual information specialist. What, what was the official title? Uh, we were called combat artists at yeah. the time. And uh, I did in Vietnam, and that's something I wanted to do. And I was lucky when Defense Media Activity had a job opening, and I was able to actually do what he did, but as a civilian. Uh, when he got out of the Marine Corps, after Desert Storm, he came home, and uh, we were talking about his next step, because he didn't want to stay in the Marine Corps for 20 years. So uh, we talked about um, why not just go through a junior college or go to a drafting school and get started in the drafting. So he went to the same drafting school I went to in, in here in Maryland. And after in drafting, then all of a certain he began to get interested in what I was doing, fine arts and designs. One of the fun things that like, we can just sit down and talk about art, you know, talk about artists, talk about the type of work we're doing now, um, the type of media we're working in. You know, for him to go from acrylic to watercolors to pencil, color pencils, and then back. And he also did computers too. He was the one that uh, would send me the programs that I first learned on the Corral Draw. And, um, you know, he told me about all the things that he was doing after he left the military, which thought, you know, I can do that too. In health and wellness news, functional fitness is defined as exercises that train your muscles to work together and prepare them for daily tasks by simulating common movements you might do at home, work, or in sports. It places an emphasis on core stability. Last week, Gaffney Fitness Center opened up a new facility dedicated to functional fitness. I'm standing now, it's a racquetball court that's been converted to a TRX and the reason we did that is because we saw more and more people doing these exercises that would ordinarily be um, performed in a dedicated space. So we decided to, to start thinking of a way that we could begin to uh, accommodate this, this growing trend. TRX is, is a training system that's been utilized by the different branches of the, of the military uh, downrange because you can take these straps and you can anchor them just about anywhere. It's the first time you try a TRX class or any group fitness class, it's free. So if you want to give this stuff a try and you don't feel comfortable doing it without some sort of training, um, we're adding two TRX classes a week. In a related story, we spoke with Child Youth and School Services Sports Director Hunter Davis, who's making an early call for spring and summer sports registration. So the spring season's right around the corner. Um, registration's open for that. We'll have uh, soccer, baseball, lacrosse, um, Ready, Set, Run, which is a running program that we started last season that uh, kids train to, to, to work towards running a 5K. But we're also registering for the summer as well, just putting it out there on people's radar. Um, and we'll have tennis, bowling, um, track, which track season will actually begin in May, uh, but they'll run their meets um, in June and July. Beach volleyball and dodgeball. And we will be looking to have our, our annual Orioles clinic again. That's normally in early May, um, and that's for the kids that are registered in the baseball program. In other news, the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the Defense Information Systems Agency are hosting the Garrison's Black History Month observance on Thursday, February 23rd at 1130 at the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is Dr. Toya Corbett, the Dean of Students at North Carolina Central University. The topic is crisis in black education. Dr. Corbett will talk about some of the measures being taken to address that issue. Once again, that's coming up February 23rd at 1130. We'll have coverage of the event on the next Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week.